So finally got the engine and transmission out of the car. Um, opportunity to place all the detents in the transmission. I already got the reverse done, the reverse detent done. No, working on the, the fifth, fifth gear detent here on the side. Uh, it's a, a trick here is trying to get the snap ring out. Uh, it kind of gets embedded in the plastic. You gotta get a little medieval on it to, to get these snap rings out. Once you get the snap ring out, you have to be able to get that little green cap out. Generally, just punch a hole in the top of it and screw a, a screw into it, something you can get a hold of and pull the cap out. This one, I, I got a little aggressive on the hole. I got a little, little, little too large for a screw, so I was able to just ultimately pry it out with the, with the punch. Spring came flying out. Make sure you don't lose that because you do reuse that as part of the, the kit. Um, and then to get the existing D10 out, you gotta use a slide hammer. Um, so get that in, expand it out, let you get a hold of it from the inside. Uh, a couple little taps and it pops right out. Once you get the old D10 out, a um, little bit of wear on that one, um, the next trick is getting that sleeve out. So inside of there is a, it's the sleeve, um, trying to find where the seam is. Once you find the seam, you just got to bang away at it till it deforms enough to be able to, it lets go um, and you can pull it out. I mean, the, you got to try to be careful that you don't nick up the, you know, the machine surface too, too badly, but I mean, that's sort of the point of the sleeve, right? So you're gonna replace this with a new sleeve. Um, so even if there's some marring or, or marks on that on the on the cast body of the transmission, you know, really it's it's gonna be covered up by the sleeve. So as long as it's not too boogered up that you can't get that sleeve in, you know, I guess you could file it down if worst case scenario. But um, generally, be careful, take your time. The worst case scenario that I've heard is. You end up banging away on this thing and you knock a piece or you knock the whole sleeve into the transmission. Um, so at that point, I guess you're taking the transmission apart to get it out, but uh, probably not something you want to do. I just want to sort of check the the inside of that board and make sure it's not too buggered up and uh, this one was okay so um, basically get get the new sleeve out of the kit use BMW BMW makes a special setting tool um, you can get them from third parties now they're, they're actually pretty they were hard to find for a while but uh, last I, last when I ordered these there seemed to be a fairly available um, fairly decent fairly easy to find um, 
So there's the special the fitting tool. Um, the shorter one goes on the fifth gear. The slightly longer one goes on the on the reverse above it, just based on the depth of the casting. Sort of screwed up on the camera mounting. Um, try to get it a little better next time. Once you get that sleeve uh, on, I sort of made the mistake. I, I, I tried to put the detent in without any transmission fluid on it, without any oil on it, and about got it stuck. I had to use the slide hammer puller to pull it back out, cover it good in transmission fluid. Um, so that it slides free um, and then once it's in you want to make sure that you know basically there's a there's a selector rod that comes in between that reverse detent and the fifth gear detent and so the reverse gear um, the little angled face has to face down so it it properly engages that uh, selector rod and then the fifth gear has to face up uh, so it it also properly uh, faces that selector rod so once everything's good and oiled up you can put the spring back in um, and the trickiest bit is actually getting this new cap back on and the new snap ring in. Uh, it's, the reverse was a real pain. Um, this one actually went in fairly easily. So that's the fifth uh, gear detent installed, just making sure the snap ring's in place. Um, up next, I'll actually show how to do um, the other detents that come as part of the kit. So these, these detents along the top here um, give you the feel as the selector forks engage into either into first or second gear or third or fourth gear or fifth or reverse gear. So this, so those two, uh, the two big ones we did on the side are the spring, you know, you imagine your, your, your gear shifter, you know, the spring as you try to move it left or right, these along the top give you the feel as you move that shifter up and down. So the center ones for first and second gear, um, the one closest to the camera, I think, is fifth in reverse, uh, and the one um, furthest away from the camera is, is third and fourth gear. So, you know, these are a little bit simpler. It's got uh, a cap and a spring. The spring holds the detent down on top of the, the selector fork. Um, just sort of got to, you know, figure some way to get that out of the, 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 the board. It's actually not hard. And the kit is actually a little bit different engineered. So originally it was just a, a fatter detent that slid in the machine surface. The kit actually comes with a sleeve uh, with a coating and a, and a skinnier detent and a skinnier spring. Uh, that all um, that all goes together. Um, similar process. So, uh, again, a, a special setting tool comes as part of the kit uh, to get the sleeve set. I'm gonna fill it with some transmission fluid. Put the detent in new, uh, the new spring uh, and pound the new cap on. That's pretty straightforward. So the last thing I'm doing 
here in the video is replacing the selector rod joint. It just seemed like a good thing to do while I had the transmission out. Um, you know, switching over from the stock shifter to the actual tunnel mounted shifter from Beamer World. So it should make every make all the shifts feel a lot tighter. So I figured while I was in here, this is the last little bit of play uh, in that system. So I went ahead and replaced it with a new one. Trickiest bit's getting the snap ring off. Well, it's uh, the, not really a snap ring. It's a ring that holds the pin in place. You have to sort of get it up out of the channel. Once it's out of the way, the pin falls out and it comes off. So inside of there's uh, like a spongy material that sort of makes it, makes you, gives the resistance. Um, and this, this is probably the original one. I mean, that, that spongy material was completely worn out. Here you can see the inside of there, that new orange spongy material. Um, yep. Just a matter of putting the new one on and wrapping it up. Thank you. 